I'm going to let you parents go off and have the necessary conversations with your children. Mm. Um, I'm not saying they mustn't have friends. I'm not saying they mustn't meet at the mall. But I'm just saying that, yeah, there's yeah. something going down. Keep an eye open for these kinds of things. There's though, something going down. Open. And when we as parents start communicating openly with each other, mm. we, we're able to nip these things in the bud. Okay? No, that's it. And this happens on. This is the danger about what's happening here because mm. it's online. It's a it's kids that uh, communicate with each other over social media and apps, mm, right? Mm. Various ones, and they form this kind of group where everyone feels now they're included in something, which is what all teenagers strive exactly. for. Exactly, sense of belonging. Uh, we've got the mom that we've been promising you that we're going to chat to. Her. She says her child is part of Latrizzi. He's fifteen years old. Good morning, Wendy. Thank you so much for speaking to us. How are you? I'm fine, thanks, you, Anele. Great. So you say your child, 15 years old, is it a boy? Yeah, he, he turned 15 last week, Monday. So yeah. this thing started last year, Anile. Mm. And when it started, he used to say he's going to Monte Cassino to meet up with his friends. Mm. And then he would leave the house dressed like a normal boy, like a 14-year-old boy. And then I think when they get to Monte Cassino, then they change. Then they do all these things, but I don't know what they're doing. Mm. And then we saw videos circulating, and we understand Monte Cassino... Um, chase them or they stop them from coming. So mm. then they moved to Santon and um, Mall of Africa. Mm. So, and then I've prayed, I've gone to a Sangoma, I've, I've, I've hit the child, I've done so many things. Like, I'm, I'm at my wits now. I don't know what to do anymore. So Because even on Saturday, it yeah. was his birthday on last week, remember? So yes. on Saturday, he said he's going out with his friends. So when he left the house in the morning, he was dressed like a normal boy. Mm. And then, then I saw the videos of Monte Cassino. Then I called him and I said, where are you? Then he said, no, he's in Santon. I said, do you know what's happening at Monte Cassino? No, my Mo- friends are Mall telling of me Africa. that some other boys. Mall of Africa, yeah. yeah. Okay. My friends are telling me that some other boys are, are fighting with the boys from, from Soweto. Mm. I've told him how dangerous this thing is. I think it's a cult. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know what to do anymore as a parent. Like, I don't know. He, 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 he exchanged clothes with friends, so... Mm. He will come wearing baggy jeans. It's, everything is black. Mm. So they wear big black jeans. They wear jackets that have got skeletons. They have photo shoots. The other time he said he went to Rivonia, they were doing photo shoots. There is this one person that recruits them. His name is Ritadile. Mm. I think this Ritadile lives in Santon. Mm. Because that's where all they meet. And then they they tell each other on social media, we're going to Mall of Africa, we're going to invade Mall of Africa. And this is what I was I asking. I spoke to Mall of Africa yesterday. I spoke to management of Mall of Africa. Yeah. I said as much as Monte Cassino could stop them, no, every every mall should actually stop them. No child who is 15 years old must go alone at the mall without any parent supervision. Because that's what Monte Cassino did. Oh, Wendy, my so heart bleeds for you because Casino. I can hear you just... You know, you're so desperate, you don't know what to do. And we, we, we get told that, no, it's a stage, these kids will be fine. But if he's 15 yeah. and the, the stage of being a teenager yeah. ends around 18, 19, you, you don't have four years of every weekend fearing for your child's life, of what he might do I to mean, someone else or what someone else might do to him, guys. Exactly. And, and I told him, <gasps> I said, oh, someone is going to stab you or you guys are going to get arrested or you guys are going to die and we're not going to know where you are. You're not going to know what happened to you. This is crazy. It's such a crazy cult that it's, it's I'm, I'm, I'm up to my woods. Mm. I've even gotten in arrested in December. Mm. And I got him arrested. The cops came to my house and they said he's 15 years old. The least that we could do is take him to a, um, I think it's called a stout school. Yeah, yeah, juvenile delinquent uh, center. Yeah, delinquent children. Yeah, that's that's where I'm going right now. So when do, when you when you speak to him earnestly and you have an honest conversation one on one, just you and him. What does mm-hmm. he say? Why is he doing this? What does he need? He, he, he likes the way they dress. He likes. He, he just likes their company. But yesterday he said to me he's not a latwizi. He just likes the way they dress. All of I them are saying that. Like, if you're a gangster, if you're not a gangster, but you dress like a gangster, people are going to associate you as a gangster. Yeah, of course. The, the one kid we spoke to today is like, no, I'm not latwizi. I just like to go to see and I like to go to watch. But, yeah, whatever. But whatever. Like them. So you need to dress like them so that you fit in. Mm. Mm. I have no so answers these, for you. Big, they wear these big um, boots. They, mm. they look terrible. They look horrible, Anneli. They look terrible. I, I, I don't know if I've lost my child into this latrizi nonsense. I really don't know. No, no, there's always hope. There's I've always taken hope. I've boarding school. I, I've, I've reached my wit's end now. I don't know what to do. If I lock him in the house, then he, he goes and he says he's going to the shop, and then he's gone.
he disappears. Then the next thing I hear, he's at Monte Cassino, he's in Santon, he's in, I don't know what to do. Where is he getting know. money to, 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 to be he at all this? He money for school, so they save money. So he doesn't go out every weekend because there's no money every weekend. Mm. But he saves the money and then he goes once a month. Oh, uh, that's why they do it once yeah. a month. Yeah. So well, that's why they go once a month. So he saves his money. But apparently the other groups they they meet every weekend because they tell each other where they're going. Mm. But yesterday he said to me the the securities at San at Centen are very strict. They're more stricter than Mall of Africa. So I think that is why they go to Mall of Africa. Yeah, it's also the issue with, I mean, I, I, I can't blame Mall of Africa for this because that's, exactly. it's, the, it's one of the biggest malls. Mm. You can imagine how many entrances there are and also how many yeah. people go through that mall on a daily basis. Because mm. also if they come in, let's say, for example, in pairs, yeah. you don't know that ultimately yeah. you're going to sit with a hundred of these boys and inside the mall. And you know what the else they do? They, they Uber club. They, they, they get an Uber van. Mm. So it's like six or seven of them. Then they, they get into an Uber van because it's cheaper for them to travel from one yes. to another. Yeah. Then they get to Mall of Africa. Then they tell the other ones who are on social media, no, we're at Mall of Africa. That's how it spread. Because I asked him yesterday. I said, oh, how, do, how, do, how do people know where you guys are? He says, no, um, we put it on TikTok and then someone, we, we tag or whatever that they do, they tag each other, then they know. Then the, the tag goes like, let's invade Mall of Africa. So no. everybody comes to Mall of Africa. Yeah, Wendy, thank I, you so I, much. I am in contact with Mall of Africa. I've, I've, we, we're going to meet sometime and we're going to try and, and figure out how we can stop this thing from yeah. happening. We're also about to chat to somebody from Mall of Africa because they've also been quite cooperative yeah. in this entire thing. Because once again, you know, last week, Friday, they were just a mall that is out there, you know, catering okay. very well to us as retailers. And then on Saturday, they've got a swarm of kids. You know, buzzing around, causing chaos. And I mean, like they, like us, I'm sure that they haven't heard of like, this Latwizi as well. You know, this is the issue. Thank you so much to Wendy. What an honest, honest, just yeah, my frustrated heart for her. testimony of what's going on. She just doesn't know what to do.